Taurus, welcome to your love reading for the week of February 8th through the 14th. I believe that's the right date. Um, anyway, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, how you guys doing? Thank you guys for being here. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you to all of my subscribers. You guys are awesome. All right, guys. So, as always, this isn't going to resonate for every single one of you. It's not possible. You're not all living the same life. So, if it doesn't resonate, check your other signs or check out one of the other awesome readers on here. If it does resonate, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. I love all of your stories. What else, guys? Um, if you need a personal reading, don't hesitate to hit me up. Everything you need to know is in the description to the video as well as the About Me section. Also, if you guys are into the paranormal, I have another channel um, just for paranormal stuff. It's Spirit Cypher Paranormal. We have a lot of cool things happening over there. We go out and do investigations and then post them. Um, so check that out if that is your thing, Spirit Cypher Paranormal. All right, let's do this, guys. Overall energy for Taurus in love, February 8th through the 14th. Oh, Seven of Swords. Uh-oh. Recent past for Taurus in love. Oh, whoa, that is way too many. You know what? Let me see what they are in case they come back out. All right, I got it. The one that fell out though first is the lovers, Gemini energy. Present energy for Taurus. <clears throat> nice, the Empress and back-to-back -back majors as well. <clears throat> Immediate future, oh my gosh. The freaking tower. You've got only four cards out here. All of these three here are Major Arcana. So that's a big week for you guys. Valentine's Day is included in that week. So hopefully you guys are doing all right. <laughs> all right, I'm going to start here, okay? Because there's so much happening here already. Um, for me as a reader, the overall energy is always the person that I'm reading for would be you. Everything else in the readings interchangeable can be for you, someone you're dealing with outside influences, Okay. So you guys are in this Seven of Swords energy. Not the greatest, it is deceptive. Um, so I'm not trying to like call you guys shady or anything, but there's something here that you're hiding. It doesn't have to be something bad, so don't come at me. Um, but there is something, there's something that you're hiding, there's something that you're not revealing. You might have a good reason for it, let's see. <laughs> Clarify the Seven of Swords. The Magician reversed. Um, what is up, you guys? I'm going to have to pull another one. The Magician reversed is manipulation. Clarify the Magician reversed. The Two of Pentacles. That was one of the ones that almost came out in the beginning. Two of Pentacles is, it's trying to keep the balance, trying to keep everything upright, everything where it's supposed to be, right? It's having a lot of things happening. Can be two different people, can be juggling two different people, doesn't have to be. Cross watchers, don't freak out. If this is your person, doesn't mean there's another person. Could, but it doesn't mean that 100%. Um, it might just be that, you know, you're not revealing that you, that you're feeling powerless with the magician reverse here. It's like feeling powerless because you've got, you've got too many responsibilities here. Um, too much happening. Let's see. Clarify that two of pentacles. Clarify the two of pentacles. Might have to do with finances that it's affecting your love life. Clarify the Two of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles. Oh boy. 
five pentacles all right so this is definitely breakup energy here um it's also poverty mentality so like i said before could have something to do with finances could be hiding something regarding finances um or there's some there's some weird manipulation here some deception juggling and somebody's getting left out in the cold i don't know if it's you feeling this way i think so i think it's you feeling rejected abandoned left out in the cold and maybe you're just not revealing that you're feeling that way for some reason let's get another one on that this is heavy heavy guys i'm sorry with all these clarifiers but it's it's real heavy Clarify the Five of Pentacles. The Emperor Reverse. Yeah, there's something happening. Something happening here where you either feel completely powerless in a situation and not letting on that you feel that way, um, or there's some definite manipulation control issues here. All right. Um, we've got Aries here too, if that means anything to you. Could be something going on with an Aries that has you feeling kind of powerless. If you are, they're not in their right state of mind, being reversed like that. All right, let's move on because I could really just keep going with that. Your recent past, the lovers, Gemini energy. You have a Gemini in the recent past or it's just your, your connection, right? This is a harmonious union. Nothing's crazy there. No, no manipulation, no juggling, whatever. Everything's good. Everything's in harmony. All right. Um, I don't know why you're feeling this way up here because honestly, this all looks good until something happens here in the future, but we'll get there present you've got the empress so libra taurus energy divine feminine energy you could be in your feminine energy you could be dealing with someone who is this person she's she has all the qualities of all the queens in the deck right um fertile abundant grounded warm compassionate everything all right wife mother energy clarify the empress You've now, I have to show you here, before I do anything else, I have to show you something that's happening here. You've got the emperor and the empress in the same reading. This is a divine union, divine counterpart. However, one of them is reversed, one of them's upright. So it's like, you're not on the same page anymore as you were right here. All right, let's clarify this So, Unless we're dealing with more than one person and one of them just out of whack and one isn't. Clarify the empress. Could be all internal as well your masculine and feminine are not in balance and if, if 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 this is not another person and this is all you it's your masculine side that needs attention okay all right clarify the empress page of cups reversed i'm gonna have to clarify that before i speak on it water sign energy though cancer scorpio pisces clarify the page of cups reversed a lack of emotion queen of swords yeah lack of emotion somebody here is not not being very emotionally expressive all right queen of swords libra gemini aquarius but it's very logical very head over heart very matter of fact kind of energy um not that queen of swords has no emotion she just doesn't that's not her thing she doesn't express them that way so either you know you're taking on that energy or you're dealing with somebody that is Clarify the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords can also be like the other woman, if that's a thing in your world. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Clarified by the Queen of Swords. <laughs> Imagine that, guys. You might have two different, two different females here, honestly. Two different people. Huh. All right, well, I guess I'm not gonna clarify her again since she's being all matter of fact like she is. In your immediate future, you've got the tower, Mars energy, Aries and Scorpio. So this is something, you know, sudden change. It's traumatic because it's a change. It's not always bad though. Um, 
it, it can feel that way a lot because it's sudden it's not something we can prepare for but um it's because something here is unstable it has to fall down it can't stay like it is um you can rebuild it on a stable foundation or you can build something else in its place but this particular situation here it's not going to stay standing the way that it is okay let's see what's up with the tower i do have to say too though guys the tower is in your future that can change in the next 30 seconds that's up to you that's only the future if you don't do anything different in the present okay all right clarify the tower nine of pentacles yep somebody's gonna be single <laughs> single lady energy independence freedom um somebody could be like unexpectedly single in the future if something doesn't change here and i think the thing that it is unless there are more than one person more than more than one person more than two people involved in this connection and there's somebody here that uh needs cut off then it's somebody's not somebody's not in their power somebody feels out of control in their life probably you and somebody isn't expressing enough emotion you know what I mean all right potential obstacle for Taurus we got two page of Pentacles and the eight of wands so these are not bad cards so for them to be an obstacle somebody might have there might be a connection here and somebody has an offer from someone else um page of pentacles is a committed offer new but it's committed or meant to be right earth energy virgo taurus capricorn eight of wands is a lot of action a lot of passion attraction is cupid's arrows a lot happening a lot of internet communication um for this to be an obstacle it's going to be something outside of the connection. It would be somebody, you know, communicating with or whatever, doing whatever with someone outside of a connection. If you are not in a connection and this is an, this is an obstacle for you, um, then you're holding yourself back. You're just not doing anything. You know what I mean? You're not putting yourself out there. Nothing. <laughs> All right. All right advice for you guys king of wands reversed if you have someone that you're dealing with that is controlling demanding dictator like in your life you need to cut them out this is like the minor to the emperor reversed right same energy just not as not as harsh as the emperor reversed but um if you're dealing with that kind of person cut them out if you're not that you're taking on this energy you really need to work on your motivation your drive your goals um your energy you know pay attention to your health as well okay all right let's get you another one guys the world reverse so you might feel like you have some unfinished business somewhere you need some closure somewhere you can be your own closure you don't have to do that just say I'm done and be done then that's your closure you know um, otherwise you're there's something there's a cycle that's trying to close out in your life and and you're resisting okay all right let's get you some oracles After I'm done with the love part, I am going to pull you two oracles just, just in general. They might turn out to be love. I'm not sure, but I really miss doing general readings. But um, you guys seem to like the love readings, so I'm going to keep doing those. But I do miss doing general, so I'm going to throw a couple general oracles in at the end. I'll let you know when I'm going to do that if you want to click off then if you're not interested in that. All right? All right, so still on love here be willing to express love express love to receive love 
Right. So if this is you being all Queen of Swords, Page of Cups reverse, not expressing any emotion, that's that's where you're going to want to check yourself. Okay. All right. Let's get you one of these. So this is also Love Oracle, but it's super lighthearted and fun. And real hard to shuffle. Um, but I like to end with these because it's lighthearted and the readings get so serious. There's actually people on these cards. It's cute. All right, who do you got? Oscar Wilde. I love Oscar Wilde, you guys. I can resist everything except temptation. Hearts are made to be broken. True friends stab you in the front. Well, I do love him, but um, that sounds real fucking toxic, guys. <laughs> be aware. All right, let's get you some regular Oracle. Um, they might, they might have to do with your love life. They might not. All right, so I'm just gonna do this. Star Ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. For sure, for sure. All right, I'm gonna get you one more out of this deck. Do you guys have a thing for Egypt? For the stars, that kind of thing? This has pyramids on it, that's why I ask. All right, anyway. I remember soul plan the faded life versus the destiny life mean anything to you guys let me know if it does I love this deck all right guys you take care I love you guys I will talk to you in a few days if you are single um, there will be a singles for this week as well posted and there is an entire monthly one posted as well all right take care guys